Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Discover with Jesse. And today, <laughs> well, I want to talk about why people always compare Ghana to Nigeria or why people always compare Ghana and Nigeria. Uh -huh. That's what I want to talk about today. And I had to write it down. You know, some of the points, I had to write them down so that I don't forget it. So that I'm going to say, say it without forgetting one single point. You understand? <laughs> My Ghana people, I want to do now. I know say when I get lights. I know say when I get lights. I know say when I get lights. My Nigerian people, <laughs> how on a day? <laughs> when I get lights, so <laughs> I've been a generator. You know, our Ghana brothers, they call us Generator Republic now. Ah, well, it's all love. If they call us Generator Republic, we, will, we, know, we know they take them to heart. We they laugh over and quiet. You understand? So today I'm going to be speaking English and broken. Not just only English, I'll, I'll mix it up. But you guys will be able to understand and hear what I'm saying. Because, of course, Ghana people, when they speak broken, Nigeria too, when they speak broken, but I still have audience from other places that maybe they might not be able to understand. I'm broken English, but I'm going to speak it in a way that they're going to understand. I will still use English and interpret it. <laughs> My Nigerian people, <laughs> oh, nage <I> light. <laughs> Or you did draw your generator. My Ghana people, I know say when I get them light, but I have say dumb so dumb so. <laughs> I won't finish it. I won't finish it up. Okay, let's go. Let's get back to business. Mm -hmm. Why people always compare Ghana and Nigeria? You know, these two countries are, are wonderful countries located in West Africa. You know, they are doing beautifully amazingly well but you know and and if you're comparing the, the two of them just know that we are one whether you're from ghana or i'm from nigeria whether you're from nigeria and from ghana we are all one one africa is all love so let's get to business again <clears throat> now why people always compare ghana and nigeria one is because they are two of the largest and most influential countries in west africa they are two of the largest and most influential countries in west africa yes now yes now ghana and nigeria are the two largest and most influential countries in west africa and because they are in west africa and they are both you know influential large though nigeria is bigger than ghana ghana is like you know, three biggest states out of the 36 states in Nigeria. So that's Ghana. But they are, the two of them are the largest and most influential in West Africa. Yes. So you'll be comparing two of them now because, okay, they are, two of them are the most influential. You know, they are rules in ECOWAS. You know, they are rules in West Africa, Ghana, Ghana and Nigeria. Okay. They are rules in West Africa. Not just being large, but the rules, the influence, the influence they exert, you know, in deciding how things are going to be, or you know, some some certain things. Let's not talk politics in West Africa. So it's enough reason why people will still have us. Okay, let's compare Nigeria and Ghana, or even Ghanaians and Nigerians. Okay, oh Nigeria and Ghana, let's compare. So that's number one reason why they compare Nigeria and Ghana. Oh, these two countries that have a lot of influence in West Africa. Well, let's compare them. You understand? So that's it for the number one on my list. If you disagree with me, you can comment in the comment section. <clears throat> let's 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 make this you know interactive and where we all can learn. You understand? You can you can comment in the comment section what you think. Now, number two is economic and political influence in the region. Economic and political influence. In the region now, you, 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 you all know that Nigeria, you know, has one of the largest economies in Africa. You understand? Then we are talking about West Africa now. So in West Africa, the economy of Nigeria and Ghana are the two largest. You understand? And because the two of them are the largest, people you know tend to compare the two. Of them, oh, which one is which one is doing fine? Which one is better? Even here, Ghanaian saying, oh. 
our our currency has value more than the naira the cities has value more than the naira and Nigerians are like oh is it by do you think it's by the value of your currency how many businesses do you have what volume of exportation does your country do in a year oh this and that this and that oh people have oil like us you know all those economic stuff people have these people have that so it, it brings about comparison you understand like i said the Ghanaians will be saying oh our our city our city has value more than naira then the Nigerians will be like, oh, the, the economy of Lagos alone is bigger than that of Ghana. And Ghanaians will be like, how come? How? Then, you know, they start arguing. But it's all love. It's all love. Nana, it's all love. Kwame, eh, it's all love. All of us, we do Ghana. Eh, it's all love. Nigerians, it's all love. So, you know, be fighting, man. You know, be fighting. Like, in Shatawali is for us. Okay, let's go to the third one. The third one is, they share some histories. In, term, in terms of colonial history and cultural practices and also economic challenges. Yes. Yes. Now, in West Africa, Nigeria and Ghana, these two countries were colonized by the British. They were colonized by the British. So the Ghanaians went through what Nigeria went through in the hands of the British colonial masters. So this makes you know, people compare the two of them. Now, some cultural practices that, you know, that happens in Ghana, you can also see, you know, same happening in Nigeria, maybe not exactly the same, but almost the same thing, like similarities in some cultural practices, okay, in Nigeria and also in Ghana. Let me still tell you something. Some tribes in Ghana, like the Ga tribe and some other tribes, history have it and they said by themselves that they migrated from nigeria from nigeria to ghana now stone boy one of the most celebrated musicians the superstar well known he does good music from ghana said it that he was telling Ola of lagos that look i'm a nigerian i be almost nigerian look 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 we came from oyo we come from oyo we came from oyo then we migrated to Ni Ni uh, Ghana. That's Oyo Empire. You understand? They migrated to Ghana. Now, this is not the first time I've heard about some Ghanaians saying that they came from Nigeria, histor historically. You understand? I've heard it even from Shatawali, even from... I've, I've read it also. You understand? So, because of this, because of some of the histories, you know, like like I said, the, Brit the British colonial era, you know, Nigeria was colonized by the British, same thing in Ghana. So when the British left, you know, the two countries will be like competing. Let's see who's going to be the best. Let's see who's going to, let's see who is going to be ahead of, you know. So people now start comparing. They now start comparing. Okay, Nigeria and Ghana, yeah, this and that. You understand? So that's for the third one. Now, the fourth one is both countries are in West Africa. Yes. Yes. Both countries are in West Africa. A proximity, you understand? Though Ghana is not after Lagos, Ghana is not. We don't share border with Ghana, but the countries we share border, land border with. They speak French. We share border with Cameroon. Cameroon, they speak French. We share border with Togo. They speak French. You understand? Same thing with the Ghanaians. <clears throat> the Ghanaians share border with Ivory Coast. They speak French. The Ghanaians share border with Togo. They speak French. So interaction there is like. To be difficult, so the people they interact the more with are Nigerians. Why? Because we speak English. Because the the Nigerians speak English. Nigerians same thing. Nigerians they in, they tend to interact or they interact with Ghanaians because Ghanaians speak English. They no go leave English country interact with people they speak French. You understand? So that's why. Okay, Nigeria speak English. Okay, Ghana speak English. Okay, so they start comparing. You understand? They start comparing. Okay, what has how how has Nigeria handled this? Oh, you see, Ghana people say, oh, Nigeria people don't have life. They will laugh. You understand? Then we Nigerians will yap them and say, oh, your country is just like a state in Nigeria <laughs> by size. But honestly, Ghana is not is not like a state in Nigeria. It's the three biggest states or in Nigeria joined together. Make Ghana. Okay, it's all love here. Please, if anything I'm saying here is not the way it is please comment the comment section you can even add your own and say okay see 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 why they compare nigeria and ghana i will reply you 
we'll talk about it okay so now i think the fifth one is national pride why they always compare nigeria and ghana is national pride now ghana people see nigerians as the big brother big brother that is you know disappointing that is you know the, the, they see nigerians as the, the, the Nigeria is not representing the, the place you are supposed to be. People are not there. Uh, you understand? And they see themselves as, oh, we, we, we are, we are good. We are better than you guys. You know, we have light. We have this. You know, national pride. You understand? So, and Nigerians come and see Ghanaians as, oh, our small brother, Abi, <coughs> small sister. You know. And all that, but no, 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 no. We are all, we are all one, one, we all one. So let's leave that one and get to the next one, which is music, good music. Now, because Nigeria, Nigerians, they do good music. Ghana people too, they do good music. So the comparison comes in. Okay, ah, uh, we have Sako there. Oh, which which rapper do people have? Oh, we we'll say oh, we have Ice Prince, we have Eriga, we have this, we have that. So the comparison, you understand the comparison. Because you know these people are doing okay, people are doing Afro beats. We too, we are doing Afro beats. So which one is better? Uh, okay, let's ask uh, people other countries. Okay, Nigerian Afro beats and Ghana Afro. Which one do people like? You understand? Afro beats originated from you know Ghana and Nigeria, and these two countries are doing very very well. So sometimes it 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 it, it, it you know calls for or makes people start comparing. Okay, Nigeria and Ghana, which one is better? You understand? Because both of them they do Afro beats and they, they are doing very well. Okay, so aside that now, let's talk about movies too, because Nollywood and Gollywood, you know, it got to a time to as if they were competing, and people were like, uh, Ghana, uh, Ghana movies and Nigerian movies, which one is even better? I think it's, I think it's this, I think it's that, I think it's this, I think it's that. Okay, so you see, it brings about com the comparison. Oh, Nigeria and this and this and oh, this and that. Okay. Then sporting rivalry, which is the last point I'm going to talk about. Sporting rivalry. We all know that Nigerian, Niger, Nigerian footballers are good. Ghan, Ghanaian footballers are also good. Now, the sporting rivalry, anytime Nigeria and Ghana wants to play, you know, a football match, <laughs> you know, Everybody wants to watch that match. Ghanaians who want to, all of them want to watch that match. Nigerians, all of them want to watch that match. And they're like, oh, let's see this Ghana of yesterday. Oh, this small Ghana. Of the, 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 I'm not disrespecting that. I'm just trying to say, you know, oh, let's see how Ghana is going to beat us. We, giant of Africa. Yo, we big. We get land. Uh, we are bigger than Ghana. Oh, let's see how they're going to, to trash us in this match. Then the Ghana people are like, oh, Nigerians, they always feel, say, oh, we then get... Be them be giant and, and things. We will show them, say, we will small ball. We will feed, defeat themselves. <laughs> you understand? So, you see them when they win their plane. Uh, that's like AFCON. There was this AFCON that uh, Mikel, Lobi, and Michael Essen. You know what they did in the field in that AFCON? <laughs> Mikel, Lobi, and Michael Essen. Okay? So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> My Ghana people. <laughs> I don't say when I get lights. I don't say when I get lights. More than they watch my videos. My Nigerian people make when they watch my videos. Every Anywhere you're watching from, whether I watch it from the US, UK, Germany, Canada, Togo, Suriname, anywhere, I want to say a very big thank you. And I, 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 I want to advise you to visit Ghana and also visit Nigeria. Come to Ghana, come to Nigeria. These countries are mm, nice countries. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. My Ghana viewers, people are doing amazingly well. They are watching me. People now they watch me. I don't even know how to describe it. Now they watch me. Sad. You understand? Medase, medase. Thank you very much. Uh, see you in my next video. Bye.